Hi guys, thank you for joining me today. So in today's video, I have something quite fun planned for you all because I'm actually going to be setting up UA's Valentine's themed cage. I've been really excited about this for a while now and I cannot wait to see how it turns out. A lot of the items I handmade using cardboard, non-toxic hot glue, non-toxic paint, and then also coated them in Plastico After, which is a hamster safe water-based enamel um, that just helps to protect them if she decides to pee on them. So I'm going to go and start setting up her cage and once I'm done, I will give you all a closer look. Pacing back and forth oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here All your shots have scored no, scratching at the scars you left on my skin But we fight and we fall and we rise through it all Till we find what we want and we lose it all again Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in Just me, just you setting up I'm going to give you guys a closer look at everything I've included so starting over in the corner at probably my favorite part of this theme setup I've got her sand bath which are handmade in the shape of a heart um, using cardboard non-toxic hot glue and paint and then I also sealed it using plaster coat for protection just because she likes to use her sand bath as a toilet as well um, I've then added a bendy bridge just so that she can easily climb in and out Moving over next to that is her platform, which I made using lollipop sticks. Um, I've added her food and water dish on top and her whimsy chew. And down on the bottom, you can see there's some wood slices that I painted and a slate heart, which before I was using to put her food and water dish on. So I just decided to add it down at the bottom. You can see the herbs and dried flowers that I've added at the bottom for foraging. I also sprinkled a couple of mealworms for her to find, as well as adding a couple of her chew toys. I decided to also make a little hidey house which you can see here um, that has a little heart shaped cut out for the entrance. Um, I've also added a couple of dried flowers on top for her to find there. Next up she has her 21 centimetre wooden Trixie wheel and her purple flying saucer and sitting behind them I've used another bendy bridge just to separate the deeper substrate that I've painted in pink just so it fits in with the aesthetic a little bit more. I also just added this little wooden mushroom down at the bottom here as I thought it looked quite cute with the whole look. Moving on to the final section so this is the corner where she likes to sleep so I like to make sure I add lots of substrate for her to burrow into. She's got a little coconut hide sitting in front of the woodland seagrass three-way tunnel, a wooden platform with another bendy bridge and the pets at home strawberry hide sitting on top and then down at the bottom I've added the Trixie willow tunnel with a tunnel of love heart cut out sitting in front. There's a couple of other little bits that I've added such as the hearts on the outside behind the glass. She also has a water bottle as well as a water dish which is attached to the wooden side and a hanging tube treat. Thank you all for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment and subscribe down below as it really does help me out. And here's some cute footage of Yue exploring her Valentine setup.